So our first step is to take this strip of um, fabric and we're going to wrap it around the perimeter of this bumper. And the way that we start with that is we've laid this face down on the table and we're going to fold this up and staple it right on the end of this right on the end of this bumper. And then we're going to pull it tight around the outside of the bumper and then we're going to pull it up here and we're going to staple it here and trim it off. And that will let us know that we've got enough and it also lets us mark on the sides where the letter or where the numbers are going to be applied. We stapled down this end with a couple of staples. We've wrapped the fabric out and around the outside of the bumper. And we're going to take this end and put it under here. That. And it's all centered up all the way around. We're going to pull this bumper fabric really tight if we can. Let's see, can you pull that up so it doesn't fall? Okay, and now push it this way and we'll pull it real tight in that direction. We got the stapler ready? Yep. Okay, now we're going to fold this over like this. Pull it super tight. Okay, you ready? Yep. Right here and right here. Yeah. Okay. Done good? Fingers. Right there. Yep. Okay. All right. Save it. Set some more light. Excellent goal. Okay. Gonna trim this, trim a little bit of this extra fabric away. We're going to want to pop these staples out and redo them. There he goes. Yeah. So let's center this back up. Got it? Down really hard. Pull this over really hard. Okay. Get ready for the staple. Yep. Alright, clear. There we go. Okay. There you go. Safe it? Safe. Alright. Our next step is we need to find the center of our bumper and we're going to mark on here with a chalk pencil um, to mark where we're the, the center line of where we're going to apply our letters on this fabric. So this is about the center of our bumper. So right here. So we'll take that right to here. I'll cheat a little bit towards 19. So the middle of nine and a half would be 4.75. Yeah. yeah. So we'll put it right here. Okay. And now let's spin this around. So we have laid out our red piece of fabric that we have our marking, we, that's to the right length and we have our markings on. We've got the blue piece of fabric right next to it. And now we need to trim the end of the blue to match the end of the red. Here is the center. Okay, so let's move down to our next mark. Okay. Good. This one. So we've set aside the red and the blue bumper fabric because we want to put the numbers on later. But for right now, we want to wrap one of our bumpers so that we can do testing with it. We're going to make our demo uh, demo robot bumper, which we use purple fabric with, and uh, that way we can use it for all of the software testing. And then once we've got the numbers on the other pieces of fabric, we can come back and put them on here. And you're going to push it down, I'll hold it. It's safe. There you go. Good. All right. 
Okay. There it goes. Pull it over there. Okay, good. Okay. Push like this. Work it over. Okay. Put staples in there. Push hard. Yeah, good. Okay, the next part of the process, we're going to lay this down and we're going to trim these corners so that they lay really nicely. And then we'll fold this down and staple the insides. The way that we trim this fabric is that we're going we're gonna to make this corner fold look like this. It's going to lay like that and then, then we're going to end up with a nice stapled line of staples down the middle. To make that work, we start by taking this fabric and you lay it over and then you make like a little dot right here with your marker and then kind of draw a line at about 45 degrees like that. Yes, sir. And then you take it this way and you do the same thing. You make a, make a little dot where the, the boards come together and then you come away like that. Okay, now you draw a line that connects to those two dots, right along like that, and that's where you cut. Like that, over this side, cut it like this, and then turn the corner and then cut over here. And now, we can take this fabric, lay it there, take this one, lay it there, now these will fold in like that. Yes, sir. And then you end up really nice corners. So we're going to fold this down, fold it down like that, and we fold this up so that this crease ends up right in the corner, and then we're going to pull it tight, and now you're going to staple right in here. It's safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. Okay, now we move over a little bit, and you're going to, you're going to come along and you're going to put a line of staples right here, right there. Good. Okay, now we're going to come to this other corner, and we're going to work our, work our way in that direction. Good. Okay, then, you know, right along there. Good. So now that we've, we've cut these corners, we can flip this up, and we can work on stapling down this side. Now, the important thing when we're doing these staples is we need to pull it really tight to give tension on the inside on the on the fabric like this. So now you're gonna work across yes, sir. like we just did. Go ahead. Alright. Good. Tight. Good. Finish up the ends with scissors. Hold it in like we did last time. Here's our top corner. Comes right over to there. 
This one's already almost already almost there. Fold up. Okay. Okay, we're good. That's it.